Hi, this is the Terra 16, and this is the video of DCS World, which is uh, the standalone unifying component of uh, uh, DCS World modules. And this one is free, and you can actually fly this plane right here for free. It's an SU-25, and this is a ground support uh, uh, plane. It's kind of fast, but uh, it's mostly uh, the Russian equivalent to an A-10, kind of. And uh, it does deliver quite a lot of uh, punishment. Assuming it doesn't get shut down by enemy planes. Okay, so why I'm showing this is that uh, I'll actually show you how to start this thing and how to get it in the air, and then I'll show you the different type of ground support uh, action you can do. And uh, the objective of this is to show you that it's not that hard. So I hope I will manage to do that. Okay, so the first thing... Well, normally uh, you start like this. The thing is activated. So the first thing you need to do is you need to activate the power which you do with uh, the right shift l that will uh, put on the power in your plane so so far that's pretty easy then what you do is you click uh, the right alt key home it's like the A10 essentially, or the F15 if you saw a tutorial about that. Then you click uh, uh, right control home, and you see here that the engines are actually starting, and you can see the end a little below which are increasing so this tells you that the engines are starting now, while these start I will close the canopy with the uh, control C the left control C and I'll just wait for those uh, indicator there to close. It will tell that my engine are ready. There you go. It is closed. Now you just have to uh, push uh, the power on or the throttle. And you don't need to click anything uh, to activate the front wheel. Just have to adjust with the rotors. So I'm rolling. And with the, this plane, you need to actually reach around 300 to uh, be able to take off. As you can see, it's uh, moving a little on the runway in all directions, but as long as you go kind of forward, you should be fine. So it reached 300. I'm in the air. As you can see, 
If we check the loadout, you can see that on both sides I have a kind of ECM system, which uh, cover or prevent me from being uh, well locked on the radar. Then uh, on the external side I have uh, laser. side at least which is on the left wing I will uh, I have an anti-radar missile then I have TV uh, guided missile then I have a TV guided bomb as well. I have also a uh, FAB uh, 250 which is uh, a dumb bomb and we'll be able to cover this all pretty quickly. And uh, I'll remain remind you that the goal of this is to show you that it's not that complicated. So the first thing you need to do, uh, know about uh, this plane or many planes in this game is that you can have different mode uh, for your HUD. So you will need, for example, if you want to in this plane to do air to air uh, combat because you can fit missile on this entire missile you click six but right now uh, as you can see on the empty line there i have no entire missile well uh, if you do this now you can see this uh, this is the seven key so anti air is six and uh, ground is uh, seven and down there you can uh, switch between the different uh, weapon which are activated Now I have uh, 25 MPU, which is a KH actually, 25 MPU, and this is an anti-radar missile, and these uh, require actually the pod which is down plane there, and you click high. And uh, this will make this appear. You can move it with uh, the keys, which are just uh, and next to the right shift. So question mark and that kind of stuff. And dot and. Uh, 
Tacoma and the Bull Dot. With these, you can move them around. And then you move it toward the, the radar, which is detected by your system here. And you click enter or whatever key you put on your keyboard. I uh, mean, joystick. And then you can fire because it's flashing. Now the Russian plane are usually uh, flashing to indicate that you can shoot them. And now you can see that this missile is homing pretty easily toward a radar. So that was my only uh, anti-radar missile. Activated using I. Now let's uh, switch to a different weapon, which will be the uh, small bomb, which you can see on the side there. It's uh, a fab. It's a dumb bomb, so there's no guidance or anything and what I'll do is uh, to improve perhaps the targeting I will activate the TV with O key and now you can move that TV uh, the same way that uh, you move the, the anti-radar thing and you can see uh, that the TV is moving. You cannot really see it because uh, it's water that I'm looking at. But in the center of the screen, you can see that I'm moving a circle. And this is where the TV is actually looking at. So I'll turn back and engage the row of enemies that I put there. Now these uh, enemies are mostly armless. They can shoot me, but uh, they won't do. They will likely miss. You can shut me down, but the risk is very minimal. Alright, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll try to aim for a radar. Now, to log the view of the TV screen, you just click Enter. And to unlock it, you click Enter. Okay, I'll try to bombard this unit there but I'm too low so I will increase that in terms of altitude there you go and now I'll try to bump this The fab, which is a dumb bomb, actually. Okay, yeah, I did drop it. And that was a total miss. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't matter since that was a dumb bomb. So it tells you essentially that these bombs. You need to be well 
aligned to hit the target, and it's very difficult, especially when you have uh, enemy entire shooting. That's why I would recommend you not to use them at all, especially when uh, this plane can have more advanced systems. Same thing with uh, the A10 and that kind of stuff. But A10 uh, C is a little more complex to uh, target with. Alright, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll drop a bomb, which is uh, a TV guided bomb, I believe. So, turning now. See uh, that hopefully it will hit the target at this time because it's supposed to be guided. Okay, I'm stabilizing. I will uh, target this uh, vehicle right there. up all right now I'm uh, holding the trigger and what that will do is that uh, it will make the bomb ready to be dropped and now it is dropped Now it's homing on whatever my TV was looking at. Can be ground. And it uh, had a direct target. The thing is that by holding the trigger, it will drop the bomb when it's uh, ready to drop it. So that's pretty nice. That was a TV guided bomb. So uh, all uh, you had, uh, you have to maintain your TV uh, looking at the target for as long as possible. In order to have a clean hit. Okay, now what I'll show you is. multiple pod there. These are actually uh, TV guided uh, missile. And it's uh, pretty similar to the bomb. It's just that the difference is that uh, you'll need to have uh, the target in the middle of a circle, which indicates you that it will be tracking that. So, moving. Okay, I'm about to have them in range, or in view, I should say. There we go. Now, as you can see, I'm moving my TV over there. I'll target that vehicle. And now I'm moving 
the circle and you can see that there's a square now flashing so i'm that means that the missile uh, is tracking and it's following the target i can see the missile did follow the tv signal and it destroyed with the direct hit the enemy target so that was pretty easy and you have actually uh, I think that's, uh, uh, eight uh, rounds per Can have uh, only two of them, so Now let's switch type of missile. That's uh, twenty-five T. Okay, so this is the white missile. the previous one so we'll make a turn soon to show you this so turning when you make a turn uh, it's best to uh, reduce power this way you can uh, make a tighter turn with the brick like this plane, it's uh, useful to have a tighter. Although we might stall like this, so that's uh, that means you need to recover, and when your nose is down, you need to increase power to ensure that the you won't stall. Alright, so locking the view where I want it. And now let's zoom in with the plus key. And now you can see that this missile doesn't seem to care about the, where uh, I put it. So there's no circle. So it seems to be uh, much more autonomous. And that's a KH-29T. TV guided. Go direct it. Now that the missile is gone. Now let's switch to uh, 25L, which are those missiles which are on the side. These are actually laser guided. And uh, the L tell you that actually. When it's a T, it's TV. When it's a L, it's a laser. Now the laser, what you need to do is you need to activate it using uh, the right shift O key. And uh, you need to uh, turn it off uh, once you are done using it because uh, it might overheat in that 
kind of technology, which is rather annoying, but still. It's very accurate, so that's what matters. Alright, so turning now. Activated uh, using uh, right shift. Uh, oh, the laser and uh, the square is flashing, meaning the missile is tracking. And now it's uh, you can even see it on the TV screen. And there you go. That's direct it. And the uh, bombs are working the same, essentially. So, um, I think I pretty much did show you guys the different type of attack this plane has against ground target. And uh, I probably won't uh, spend more time, uh, more of your time on this. So I hope you did notice that uh, doing air to ground support with uh, this uh, SU-25 is pretty easy. And it's just a matter of getting used to uh, maneuvering. And there's, of course, many more uh, options you can do. Uh, it's just that what I'm showing you right now is the minimal knowledge that you should have to fly this and be effective. So I hope uh, you enjoy those small guides, and I hope that will uh, encourage you to actually try that flight sim, which is really realistic. And I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.